In this video, I want to talk about um, two's complement numbers and adding and subtracting binary numbers. So let's look at this. Let's do the simple thing first, adding. So I want to take, uh, give me a number. Okay, five. Uh, I made this handy chart here so you can see on the left, I got the decimal numbers. On the right, I got the hexadecimal uh, representation and of course the binary in the middle. So I'll take the five, zero, one, zero, one, and let's add uh, seven to it. So uh, zero, one, one, one is a seven. So one plus one is, we overflow here, which is two. So zero, and we carry the digit. One plus one is a zero, we carry the digit. One plus one plus one is a one, carry the digit. One, zero, zero, zero is a one. So we end up with one, one, zero, zero. We look up 1100 is a C, but it's a 12. So 5 plus 7 is 12. If I remember right, if I'm doing my uh, grade school math correctly. Addition is reasonably simple. It gets a little tricky because uh, knowing when you get a 0, when you get a 1, when it overflows. But all, otherwise, it's pretty easy to, to learn. Or of computers to do addition really easily. And computers, especially DSPs, add, multiply and add quite well and quite quickly. What they don't do well is subtract. What was developed was a thing called two's complement. And um, I'll mention more about it in a minute, but let's, let's first study two's complement itself. What that means, it's a way, a two's complement, by the way, the way you usually write it, is two with a you know, two uh, twos complement. Um, so uh, two apostrophe s. Yes. A twos complement um, is a way to 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 turn a, a number negative. So if I'm going to take, uh, let's pick a six. So a six is zero one one zero. So this is the number six. And so to do two's complement, we first take what's called the complement or the one's complement. The complement means you just invert every digit. If it's a zero, it's a one. If it's a one, it's a zero, it's a one, it's a zero, zero, it's a one. Just invert the digits. And that's easy to do in circuitry. You can see why computers have an easy time with this. So this is the one's complement. And then you add one to it, add one. One plus one is zero, carry the one. One and zero is one, zero, one. This is a minus six. It's the two's complement of a six. Um, and so this will be a negative six. Okay, so let's put this to the test here. Um, what's a good number? Let's take 10. And subtract two from it. <laughs> one zero one zero. That's an A or a ten. And I want to subtract two from this. So let's take a two and get make that negative. So here's a two zero zero one zero. So this is a plus two. We need to make this a negative two. So we do the ones complement one one zero one, and then we add one to it. So one plus one is zero. Carry the one. <laughs> one and zero is a one. One and zero is a one. One and zero is a one. So this is going to be a minus two and two's complement. So we take this and we move it over here and we're going to add it to the ten. So one, 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 zero. 2 to positive 10, which is the same thing as subtracting it. So let's add 0 and 0, 0. 1 plus 1 is going to be 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is going to be 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be 1, carry the 1. But that goes off into the bit bucket, and we end up with 1, 0, 0, 0, which is an 8. 10 minus 2 is 8. Lovely. It worked. <laughs> yeah, why don't we do this? 12. 12 is a C. C is a 1, 1, 0, 0. What's a good number to subtract from that? Five. 
let's subtract five. So let's take let's take the five plus five. Uh, that's O one O one, and we're going to get the complement of it. That's one zero one zero. We're going to add one. So that's one one zero one. So this is a minus five. Yep, I think I did that right. So we're going to add a one zero one one. Like I said, this is a minus five. This is uh, a, or otherwise known as ten. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of the last last one. Sorry. A C, otherwise known as 12 in decimal. So we're going to add these. Zero and one is a one. Zero and one is a one. One and one. One and zero is a one. One and one is a zero. Carry the one, but it goes off into the bit bucket, and we end up with zero, one, 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 which is a seven. Ta da. 12 minus five is seven. So you see how this works. Why is two's complement? Let's go into a little more theory here. Why is two's complement so handy for audio? And you know, wh why do we bother doing this? Well, obviously, part of it is that the computers to add to get the two's complement, so they can just add. You can hit, get the hardware to make them add, and so you can easily make this two's complement. Getting the complement is easy. Adding again is easy to get the two's complement number, the negative number, and then add it to the other. So you're just doing additions. And the hardware can be very efficient at that. But what in audio, we have, you know, we have waveforms, right? And if you want to mix signals, like I have another sound here. This is one, two different sounds. I'm going to mix the sounds. So what are you going to do? You're going to add every sample. So, you know, uh, this sample plus this sample, and you, the resultant, you know, will be the resultant waveform. Sometimes they're both positive because remember, audio can go positive and negative. But sometimes, so sometimes they'll reinforce and get louder. But other times, like right here in time, this is a negative number. That's a positive number. They're going to cancel each other out. So like here where it's going positive, that's going negative. They're going to cancel each other out. Here they're both going positive. Here they're both going positive. They're going to reinforce. They're both negative right here. They're going to reinforce in the negative direction. So to to sum, well, I mean, in audio, it's all about mixing. It's all about summing. We, we need to deal with positive and negative numbers. And we need to be able to add samples and get the result just like sound would add in air the 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 pressure uh, um, um, uh, the the high and low pressure troughs of sound waves in air will add and subtract will add and cancel depending on the frequencies and all that stuff um, and, and so we need to do the same thing with DSPs and so we have to, we have to be able to show a positive or negative number and so therefore if you want to deal with music we want to be able to add positive and negative numbers again. We want to be able to sum audio. Uh, and so we have to know when is the signal going positive, when is it going negative. So we have a point here in, right in the middle between ground and 3.3. We're going to set up a voltage that you can name this a couple different things. You can name this pseudo ground or P ground, pseudo ground. Um, but in the in the converter world, we call this the common mode voltage. Ah, mode voltage. That usually sits roughly halfway between ground and the power, the reference voltage. And so we're going to call this zero. And we're going to assign numbers going positive and numbers going negative from there. Uh, we're, we're going to deal with a, a, a four-bit number. So we have 16 different values. We, we can't go from zero to, uh, to FFF to 15. We, can't, we, we just can't do that because we, can't, we need positive and negative. So zero needs to be in the middle. And if you have hexadecimal number, four bits, we have 16 values, so we have um, eight values above. Well, the problem is, you see, we have 
look, here's here's hex. Um, if we say the middle is an eighth, well, you have we call that zero. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven above, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight below. So it's not symmetrical. And what we end up doing is calling seven the furthest positive. So we start from zero and count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight different positive numbers. We'll go zero to seven. So these are our eight positive numbers. And then for negative numbers, we're going to use the two's complement. So we need to do, um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to do minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. And do we have enough for minus eight? No, I think that's it. I'll, I'll find out in a minute if I'm wrong on this. So that's what we need to do. Is we need to get numbers out of this thing that are positive or negative. Um, so let's get the twos complements, practice our twos complement. We, we know zero through seven, we got this in a chart here, zero through seven. And if we're gonna get the twos complement, if I wanna get a minus one, so zero, 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 one, we're gonna get the complement, one, zero, we're gonna add one to it, that's one, 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 one. So minus one is one, 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 one. Okay, let me keep going here. Um, a two, get the complement, one, one, zero, one, and then I add one to this, one plus one. So one, one is zero. Uh, carry the one, and then one, one. So a minus two is one, 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 zero. And then seven, uh, zero one 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 is a seven, so get the complement, and we're going to add one to that. Be one zero zero one, and this will be a one zero zero one minus seven, and we're going to have a minus eight, minus eight. I know this for a reason, and eight 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 is a one zero zero zero, so get the complement zero one one one. I'm going to add one to that. So that'll be a zero, carry the one. That'll be a zero, carry the one. That'll be a zero, carry the one. So here, one, zero, zero. One, zero, zero, zero. It's a minus eight. All righty. So now the converters, the audio converters will automatically give you the numbers in a two's complement form. I want you to notice something. Look at these. Numbers. Here are the negative numbers. Here are the positive numbers. What can you say about this? Look, the 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 MSB, the the MSBs are all zero if it's positive. They're all ones if it's negative. That's why. This, the MSB of a two's complement number is called the sign bit. It doesn't really add to the magnitude. It just tells you if it's positive or negative. If it's a one, it's negative. If it's a zero, it's positive. And then you have the other three bits to give you the magnitude. This will be important later when we do more number, number transfer, trans, uh, transformations to a fixed point and such. Um, so the sign bit, the sign becomes very important. You know, at this point, I can add any of these positive or negative numbers as I showed you earlier, and uh, the, they will subtract properly. Um, and the other thing to look at is when you go from zero to minus one, we're subtracting one. We go to zero to minus one, we have all ones. And then we get one, one less, two less, three less, four less. You see how it's it's slowly getting to zeros. So the what's important to know is the maximum, the maximum negative number is a one and then zeros. So you would think that maximum negative would be one, 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 one. No, it isn't. That's the that's the smallest negative number. It's only one bit below zero. 
It's a very small number, um, wh which is another reason why when you have noise floor and converters, uh, a slight noise floor, all the bits are shifting from zeros to one, zero to one, zero to one often. And you get more noise in a digital system sometimes because of that. Uh, pretty wild. But anyways, that's a side note. Um, and then the number seven, of course, zero, one, one, one. And so the maximum positive is all what three three digits of all ones, and then of course the sign bit being a zero. So the maximum positive there is all ones, the maximum negative is all zeros. That's exactly opposite of each other. And and that's that's the basics of two's complement um, of positive and negative. We went exactly halfway. We made half of them, or almost half of them, more negative. You always have one more. One, two, three. We have eight digits on the negative side, and we have only seven on the positive side because zero is taking up one of the one of the positive numbers because we're splitting this in half. Yeah, is this about as boring as can be? I guess so. Uh, I wish this was more a question and answer series where I can, uh, I'm used to lecturing in classes where I can say, okay, what questions do you have? Uh, so come on, speak up. Uh, anyways, that's it for now.